guys, welcome back to my channel. So from my last video, I said that I was going to show you how I use Ayurveda herbs in my deep conditioners. So if you wanna see how I do that, stay tuned. I already have a video with some of these products, so I'm going to pin them up here so you can go have a look at that video as well if you are interested. So yeah, let me show you how I actually make this. Also, if you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe for more videos. So to start, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite conditioners and that is the Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner. one tablespoon of this Equibotanics Babassu Deep Treatment. Just because I love how this makes my hair feel, so it'll be a great addition to this deep conditioner. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of extra dark Jamaican black castor oil. This is the most important part of this treatment and that is my protein defense. So this is the protein that I use and it's usually a ratio of three to one. So three spoons of conditioner to one of this treatment. But today I'm gonna do something a little bit different because my hair needs a bit more strengthening. I'm going to add two and a little bit, but when you are doing it, do not do this because <laughs> you do that at your own risk. I'm then going to go in with the herbs, starting with amla powder. I'd usually just use a tablespoon of each herb, following up with Brinraj powder, then Brahmi powder and then some fenugreek powder. So now this can be quite sticky, so I try not to use too much of it. So now I'm just going to mix it all together. So here I'm just warming it up because I want it to penetrate my hair quicker. As you can see, the, the bowl has no contact with the water. I am essentially just using the steam to warm it up because I don't want to destroy any of this. I know some people put the conditioners and oils and stuff in the microwave but i would strongly advise against this because the microwave can really destroy all the benefits of your products so i think this is sort of a milder way of doing it so here i'm just mashing up the powders just to make sure that everything's fine because i do tend to get a lot of residue from the powders and they don't mix well with my other product so I'm trying to make sure that it's as fine as possible. To start I spray my hair with some water because I don't want to make a mess or get this splashing everywhere I sort of like squeeze it in like that so it doesn't go everywhere because I'm slowly messing up the walls <laughs> in my bathroom and that's not cute so go like so and then to add a bit more to my end and just lightly finger detangle making sure that it's evenly spread so these are like bits of the fenugreek um, it makes rinsing out a little bit harder than I'd like but it's nothing to too difficult to do so I'm just gonna twist it up and then move on to the rest okay so that's that at the start of this Ayurveda hair care challenge I trimmed my hair this was in March and then Two weeks later, 
I went in to give myself a shape up. So I cut my hair twice in two weeks. Um, and I'm so happy for it because now when I touch my ends, I don't get any short hairs coming off, which means that all my ends are fairly healthy. And yeah, I am happy about that because I am all about healthy hair. I would never ever hold on to long hair just for the sake of length. So I didn't really do a length check. Um, I would have done, but on the day that I cut my hair, we were actually traveling and I was in a hurry. So I didn't do that. But also it doesn't really matter because my goal is to thicken my hair again. Cause my hair was quite thick when I started off my journey. And then over the years it's thinned because of all the abuse and um and just everything that's been through so it's like bits like that so these are quite short so i've got loads of hairs like this so that's why my hair is not as thick as it used to be because if it was as thick as it used to be all my hairs would be like the same length even though no one's hair can ever be all like fully the same length you shouldn't also have lots of um shorter hairs that's not a good sign so that's why i'm trying to to fix mine so here is one of my problem areas which is my crown over the years i grow it back and then it breaks off again but i think it's a lot of the pressure added from using pins in my buns which i had talked about in one of my current videos as to how i am tackling that so you can watch that and see what i'm doing to help me grow my crown back so always remember to apply your deep conditioners to your edges because i think a lot of people forget do not forget because your edges are important so i'm moving on to the other side of the front of my hair it has also experienced a lot of breakage and as you can see i'm going in heavy at the edges again because it's very important so i try not to put so much on my roots because sometimes it can be quite hard to wash out but i've got a scalp oil that i'm going to apply on my scalp instead so i'm going in with this oil from kinky fro botanicals it's a warming daily botanical scalp serum so it's supposed to stimulate growth it's got some of the iv the herbs in there so that's what i'm going in with my scalp with i really enjoyed this it was very therapeutic oiling my scalp I know a lot of people are staying away from oils but I still use them and I think when it comes to oil or well any product for that matter it's really important to use a product that has been well formulated for the purpose that you are using it for so the, the oils that I've been using especially like the Equibotanics black seed hair serum that is an amazing oil it's very moisturizing as soon as i put it on my hair i feel and see the difference so i think it's important to to keep in mind the quality of the stuff that we're using not just the brand or or just what other people are saying but how does it make your hair feel and what is it supposed to do to your hair so here i'm just going to wrap it up in this plastic hair cap So this is my heat cap, I've just microwaved it, it's full of linseed and I microwaved it for two minutes. I got it off Amazon, if you want the link, I can um, link it below. So put that on and it's super warm, so 20 minutes, I'll be back. So here I've just washed my hair and just look at the thickness of this hair, I love how my hair is 
looking and how it feels i know that after the trim that i gave my hair which was so much needed i don't experience any short hairs breaking off when i touch my hair which was something that happened a lot even after trimming so it really didn't need that cut my ends feel a lot stronger my hair generally feels stronger and i really love it i really love the state that it's in right now and i owe a lot of it to the ayurveda herbs and the protein treatment i will actually show you pictures of my hair after um, washing it without applying any products to it when it dried anyway thank you so much for watching washing <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys it uh, it's it's almost 3 a.m it's 3 a.m so i'm gonna wash off my makeup and sleep i'm gonna twist this up and then call it a night so thank you for watching and if you've not subscribed yet please subscribe and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see and also follow me on instagram and sign up to my newsletter see you in my next video bye